Hello everyone, it's Pastor Lon, homesteading pastor. I'm here on the front porch at Harmony Acres Homestead on a Sunday afternoon. I hope you've had a good week. I hope you're having a good Sunday. And I hope you have a good week this coming week. But I want to share a little bit of God's word with us today out of uh, Mark's writing. Mark uh, chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. It reads like this. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have all against any that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Plain and simple. When you pray, you got all against somebody, you better drop it. You better ask, ask God to forgive you of that grudge, and you need to make it right with that person on the other end of the line. But here's the deal with, with forgiveness. Most of the time, it's not for the other person, it's for you as an individual, to relinquish you to unlock that heart that, that, that unforgiveness has had you bound up for way too long. It's to make you free or set you free from that bondage of, of, of holding all against your neighbor. So I jotted down a couple of things I'm going to share with you. But I wanted to title this, Stop, Drop, and Roll. You know, you've heard that from a fire department. You've heard that, you know, uh, maybe safety meetings or stuff at different employers. You happen to have... Get, you, Clothes on fire, you, you stop, you drop, and you roll to put the fire out. Well, I don't look at it from another perspective. I don't look at it from a perspective if you've got an all against your neighbor or a grudge against your neighbor or a friend or a foe that you need to stop doing what you're doing by allowing the enemy to continue to fuel that fire. You need to drop to your knees in prayer at the foot of the cross and ask Christ to forgive you of that all you've got and relinquish it and give it to him and forgive that person that's done you wrong and continue to roll on for Christ. We get hung up on the little things in life. We get hung up on the snags of life. We got souls that are lost and on their way to hell. But yet we get caught up in because somebody said something wrong and done something wrong to us or our family. Even, even think about Christ was on the cross and the soldiers are mocking him and plucking his beard and making fun of him and doing everything they've done to him. And I guarantee you, whatever you hold in the grudge against somebody for today, whoever you may be, it won't even compare to what they've done to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ on the cross. And while he was hanging there, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So if you've been born again, you should not have a problem granting forgiveness to that person that has wronged you. Got a few things I jotted down I want to share with you, and I'm going to leave some scripture at the end. I want you to go and read. I'm not going to read them for the sake of time, but I'm going to leave them in the description below, and I'll make mention of them here. I want you to go find them and read them for yourself. So when we hold it on to alt, or hold it on to grudge against our friends, family, neighbors, enemies, whatever, when we hold it on to that with our hands, our hands are not free to receive the blessings that God's trying to send our way. We hold, have you ever had your hands full and somebody tried to give you something else you couldn't quite hold on to it because you had your hands full? Well, I'm talking about holding on to nonsense. I'm talking about holding on to stuff that the devil's tearing your playhouse down. Stop that. Drop to your knees and pray and roll on for Jesus Christ. You got bigger fish to fry. We got the light that needs to be shining inside of us that others can see Jesus in us. And we can be a lighthouse to lead them the right way. And people are watching you, whether it's family or friends. And be mindful of that. Carrying a grudge or having all against your brother, your sister, your neighbor, doesn't harm anyone except yourself. You can believe it or leave it alone. You can have uh, all nasty thoughts against somebody. Will not grant forgiveness. It's only hurting yourself in the long run. So let it go. It ain't worth it. If you leave these grudges and alts in your heart unconfessed, if you don't repent of the alt or the grudge you got, it becomes that voice in your mind or in your head. And if you listen to that voice in your head, it begins to be a negative voice. And if you listen to negative voices in your head, it will shape the way you think and it will also shape the way you live. I'm telling you, all against your neighbor is a detrimental thing. All against your neighbor will not only bring you down, but it'll bring your reputation down. It'll affect your family. It'll affect everything about you. And ultimately, it'll cause you to spend eternity in the lake of fire, in hell eternal, forever and ever. So whatever it is, I promise you, it ain't worth it. Let it go. If Jesus Christ could let it go, with all they done to him, 
You and I should be able to let anything go in our life that's holding us back from granting forgiveness to someone else. Jesus knew this about mankind. That's why he emphasized about forgiving others so greatly. He knew that it'd be hard for some people to forgive others and that they would, we're going to, everybody's going to do people wrong in some time or another. Maybe it's, it may be intentional. It may not. Maybe out of ignorance. Who knows? But nevertheless, that don't change the fact that if you have all against your neighbor, you need to get it under the blood. God is gracious enough to forgive us of our countless mistakes. We should be gracious enough to give our neighbors, uh, the grant forgiveness to our neighbors of their mistakes. Today is the day you should forgive whoever did whatever to you and unlock the door of your heart that's got you bound. Listen to this and I'm done. Unforgiveness is, is, is what locked the door to your heart that caused you not to grant forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks that door. How many times have I told y'all on here? Humility is a very powerful tool. I encourage you to practice humility. Forgive those who have wronged you as Jesus did on the cross and see don't you have victory, joy unspeakable, full of glory, abounding in your heart. Let it go. It's not worth it. Stop what you're doing by allowing the enemy to infiltrate your mind, tearing up your playhouse, tearing up your marriage, tearing up your relationship with your children, tearing up your relationship with an employee or employer, tearing up your relationship with a friend, whatever it may be, let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Stop, drop, and let's roll on for Jesus. We've got work to do, y'all. The devil's laughing at us because of those that cannot let go of a grudge or an alt that's dragging them down a bad path. We need each other. We need allies one with another in the body of Christ. So I encourage you, let's get our act together. If you've got all against your neighbor, stop, drop, and roll. The scripture I want to leave with you before we pray I want you to go look it up and read it for yourself. Paul talked to the Corinthian people. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 6, when he talks about all the things he does in life. If he don't have charity, which is love, it's all in vain. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 6. I'll leave the all the scriptures, what I read, and these I just I want you to go check out. I'll leave them in the description below. I love and appreciate you. Leave your prayer requests below. Leave your prayer uh, praise reports below. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for another day. I thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness you sent my way when I didn't deserve it. And I pray, God, that you've instructed me and convicted me that I need to grant forgiveness of those that may not deserve it. But I need to grant it to them anyway because I didn't deserve it and you granted it to me. Help us to be men and women, O oh God, of integrity of godly character to grant forgiveness of those, of those who have wronged us. Let these grudges go. Unlock our heart's door. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop what we're allowing the enemy to infiltrate our mind with negativity. Drop at the foot of the cross and ask forgiveness and grant forgiveness. And let's roll on for you because time is running out. Souls need to be saved as we draw nigh unto thee. Father, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope this is a blessing unto you. And until next time, remember, y'all, Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we dealing with in life. Hope y'all have a, a, a great a remainder this Sunday afternoon and a great week ahead. God bless you, and I love you all. Bye-bye.